Well, happy Wednesday, everyone. I almost forgot what day it was. Sorry about that. <laughs> Well, I hope it's a good Wednesday for you, and I trust that you're doing well and that you continue to grow in your relationship with the Lord. We're going to be in Psalm chapter 8 this morning, so if you want to get your copy of God's Word, we're going to talk about Psalm 8, and I'm hoping to set it up for you that you will go and read that throughout the day. We're looking at the names of God this week, and today we're going to look at his name, Adonai. So as you get to Psalm 8, let me do a quick review of where we're going and where we've been. Uh, the name of a person is the greatest connection to their own identity and their individuality. <clears throat> Some might even push it and say it's his most important word to that person. It's easy when you use someone's name to get their attention. It's a sign of courtesy and it's a way of recognizing them. Now, all that to say... <clears throat> when we read the Bible, the names of God, and, and there are many different names of God, they're translated either as God, <clears throat> as Lord, big L, small O, small R, small D, or big L, big O, big R, big D, or big L, and then the little capital letters, O, R, D. Each one of those means something different. And we don't take the time in the English Bible to write all that out and tease all that out. And we're missing some of it. So it's able, so we're able to lean in and understand the names of God. We looked at God as Elohim, which is God as the all-powerful one, the creator. Then we looked at God as Jehovah, which translated as I am or the self-existent one. And then today we're going to look at Adonai. And when we look at Adonai, I want to lean in by starting this by saying we would like God to speak in such a big way that we wouldn't miss it. We'd like God to write the message in the sky, in the clouds. Do this. Uh, marry this person. Take this job. Don't take this job. Buy this house. Don't buy this house. And we miss opportunities to that we see God working in the small ways in our lives. That's what Psalm 8 is all about this morning. So let's look in and, and lean into Psalm 8 in the next three minutes or so, and we'll look at God as Adonai. Adonai is translated the Lord or the great Lord, meaning that God is the master and God is the majestic Lord, that God is our total authority. And that is sometimes hard for us to think about. As Americans, sometimes it's hard for us to submit to because we don't want people telling us what to do. We want to be our own boss. We want to be our own speaker. We want to be our own authority. But as we come in and learn more about God, we come underneath his authority because he is the great creator. He's the one that created us. So we should desire to come under his leadership because he created us. And if he's the creator of Elohim, then he is the one that is the total authority because he made us. Adonai is, in some ways, a substitution of Yahweh. Yahweh is God's personal name, which is coming from I am, or what we call Jehovah. I'm going to tease that out, I think, tomorrow or the beginning of next week. But you see, the Jewish people, they would not want to say or, name, or, say or write the name of Yahweh. Because that was his personal name, and they did not want to bring dishonor, and they did not want to profane or even say his name the wrong way, or be in a wrong state of heart to be able to say his name, so they gave it a substitute name or a different name. Now, God is the great master, and he is the master because he created the skies and he created the earth. God is creator, Elohim. He is the great creator. But now we look at the great creation and we look to see how that great creation is pointing to a great Lord, Adonai. So within one Psalm 8, we have Elohim and Adonai going back and forth as God is creator. And because he's greater, the great creator, he is the great Lord, Adonai. And we look at how God cares for us, us of humanity. And we certainly look at that and we say, certainly you are great Lord. Certainly you are Adonai. Certainly you are wonderful because of how you take care of us. 
Lord, you are great because your creation, Elohim, your name is majestic and it fills the earth, Adonai. What a great psalm to put these two names of God together. Let's begin to wrap this up. Sometimes we look for the big blessings. Sometimes we look for the big statements of God written in the clouds. We want a big, bold answer. We want a big declaration from God that we know that we know that this is from God. And sometimes God does make bold statements. Sometimes God does close the door and it's very obvious. But sometimes God speaks in a still, small voice in the small wind or in the beauty of the fall colors or in the beauty of his creation which is humanity and all that we see today's challenge i'd like to ask you this way what would your day look like if you paused whether it's for five seconds for a minute for five minutes during your lunch break you looked out the window and you thank the lord for the beauty of his creation and you say adonai the great lord created all of this Adonai, the great Lord, created all of this. I hope that you have a great Wednesday. Thanks for joining me for five to seven minutes as we look at the names of God. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great Wednesday.